Hey there internet, welcome to the Hard on Gear channel where I discuss and review my used and abused knives and gear. Hey there people of the Hog channel, a little something different today. We've got the Glock, E-Tool, shovel, it's just a folding shovel that's going to be a step up from the different stuff I've used in the past. Okay, so the box came pretty dinged up, but let's see, no, that's guy kind of, might need a knife. Manix 2 in the pocket today for uh, rule number 9. Is he the one who started this, Uwe? I believe, uh, yeah, the... 13 weeks 13 knives challenge if it wasn't him i apologize i'll give him the credit for it but this is my uh knife for the week the old manix 2 back in the pocket after playing around with the paramilitary 2 in 8015 so uh let's see if i got enough access hopefully i didn't slice the pouch so i've had a couple of uh, cheaper shovels like the uh 13-in-1 tactical folding shovels, whatever you want to call them. I'm actually discussing this recently with the Budget Guy for knives and, knives and Tools on YouTube. Check them out. New channel starting up. And uh, kind of told him this is what I'm looking at because I've used those cheaper, uh, we'll call them like a gimmicky tactical shovel. I've had them for, well, one I've had for about three, four years. Another one I got for a gift because my folks know that I'm into all that kind of nerdy tactical stuff. So I've got one of those just kind of sitting in an emergency spot in case I ever need it. I don't know, dig myself a trench or something. God knows if the world ever gets that bad, I'm in trouble. But the Glock shovel is a little bit different. This is purely a shovel. This doesn't have a blade and a bottle opener and a fish hook and a, I don't know. The other one pretty much does everything but blow you. So this is a shovel that folds and it is meant to be a typical military style e-tool with pouch. Uh, the fold, the folding and extending of the shovel give you about yeah, your typical e-tool size. So there's nothing tactical about this. This does exactly what I think it's supposed to do, which is dig dirt and it would still penetrate ground quite well. You've got your uh, little footsteps there if you need to drive it in. And you could, I'm sure, without any problem, sharpen the edge of that, or at least the tip, and which I might do because that wouldn't be the worst thing ever to have a sharp tip to get through roots and stuff. In the ground around the east coast of Canada, we've got a lot of rock and shield. And when there's no rock and shield, there's mostly a bunch of spruce roots. So you want to have a little bit of sharpness to your shovel a lot of the time. Now I've got to assume this is a Glock polymer for the handle, because you know Glock probably has a pretty good supply in the old uh, polymer market in Austria. Mm, pretty high quality stuff. And like most Glock products, I'm sure this is built to last. The crank here on the side, I'm a little concerned about, if anything. It does seem to be made relatively of cheap materials. But again, we're looking at Glock, so when I see plastic, my mind goes, hmm, they skimped. But it's probably a high quality military grade polymer, so I shouldn't be as concerned. But how does this, okay, yeah, loosens up that way, righty tighty, lefty loosey, get your orientations correct, it's a little bit easier. But once that's tightened in place, yeah, once that's tightened in place, that's pretty solid without too much effort, so. Yeah, okay, so, hmm, hmm, light, too, um, a little bit lighter than those other tactical shovels, which, let me just run out and grab one of those right quick. Okay, so here is the Stealth Angel, uh, I don't know what this is called, again, maybe the 13-in-1 tactical folding shovel or something like that. So it comes in all these pieces, I can unscrew them for you a little bit and get this on camera. You hear some things rattling around in there because it's some cheap gimmicky stuff inside of all these different compartments. Now, when I picked this up off of Amazon, or it might have been an Instagram ad or something, now I don't want to talk too much crap about a company I don't know much about, but Stealth Angel, from what I gather, is one of these cheap, low-cost companies that buys bulk amounts of shell product. I mean, just like a blank that they can slap their name and a little bit of customization on. And when I bought this, it was essentially that I didn't have a ton of money to go buy tons of emergency gear. And I thought, well, I need a shovel for the back of my car because at the time for work outside of fire season, I do a lot of work on Crown Road. So sometimes if there's a large puddle from some flooding or poor drainage, I just go out and kind of dig a little trench to drain the puddle. Sometimes I could get a vehicle stuck, uh, trees falling down on roads. Most of the time I'll use saws and stuff, but uh, all kinds of different things where I actually can find myself using this, mostly on crown roads. I've dug out a lot of uh, bad drainage issues with this shovel. But the stupid advertisement got me, and well, I figured for the price of, I think, 50 or 60 bucks, to have something in your kit that had a compass, which has a bubble in it, because it's obviously a cheap, shitty compass, and it's got like a little saw. I don't even want to open these because I've got them screwed shut so tight that they don't open, which is fine. But there's a little uh, 
oh, it's a, it's a bit. It's like a flathead or a Phillips bit in one of these that's just broken in half and rattling around. There's a glass breaker on there, which this right here itself would be a pretty nasty little weapon. Um, not your first choice, obviously. And then there's some other crap like a saw and whatever, but it's just not that great. The actual shovel itself is a little bit more versatile than this one, but it's not a great shovel. It's not, it doesn't scoop dirt, that's for sure. Uh, it's got the saw, it's got the bottle opener, a couple of uh, hex heads, a uh, knife or a bladed edge on that side, and then the yeah main sharp, which was sharp, sharpened edge. And uh, it's okay but this stuff comes loose as if you as you twist as you're trying to work these all twist in different directions to get them to open so no matter what you do you always find yourself or i always find myself becoming uh super pissed off with this thing because it keeps loosening up in my hand i've got to stop what i'm doing fix it twist the freaking parts of it back together however they go this just isn't your best option. With that being said, if you were lost in the woods for a few days and for whatever reason you had uh, some one of these like multi-tool shovels stocked away in a backpack, well first of all it's a lot of weight, but if you didn't have the money to buy a bunch of other stuff and you needed a bunch of survival gear in a shovel for some reason, you, you could be worse off. Now would I want to be stuck out there for more than a day or two and rely on this to last? No. But it's there. It's an option for you out there. I'll do a review on this thing too, I'm sure. It might not be great, uh, like a glowing review, but it'll be a honest review of what I think of this. Now this Glock shovel, look at the dirt I got on here. This Glock shovel is got to be half the weight with the polymer handle, a lot less metal, a lot less gimmicky crap because this is only meant to be a shovel. Oh, and holy smokes, as I'm looking at the Amazon page, just to remember what I paid for this, um, I remembered something. Well, I guess I forgot something more accurately. This thing comes with a bit of a folding saw built into the handle, I do believe. So, unscrew, unscrew, maybe, or do I unscrew this? So that's the pommel. Okay, oh, oh, oh. Yes, so that's what I'm supposed to unscrew. So that has a saw inside of it which again built by Glock so it's much better quality than a cheap than the cheap little tiny saw that was in that folding shovel I have. Hmm. Okay, so then that would go through that loop almost like a gas cap. Mm, yes, that's the deal. So then that screws in. That collar goes back around. And then you have what is a relatively functional saw with a decent length handle on it so i like it test it out on the old piece of oak and see what we can do okay so very coarse coarse teeth and remembering that oak is a very hard wood but without all my excuses this is definitely having a hard time biting into there but it's very very coarsely toothed and if you were cutting into like a large uh, spruce or a pine you'd have a lot easier time than you would with this. This is definitely biting and that the teeth are very sharp. Yeah cool just in case you wanted a little bit of versatility into your shovel uh, if you need to cut some roots or cut anything that's that much of an uh, issue that you can't get past with your shovel that saw in the handle gives you a little bit of option. So the weight 23 ounces, so a pound and my math sucks, seven and a half ounces. Not even seven and a half, seven and a quarter. So a pound and a half, essentially. So I picked this thing up for about 50, 60 bucks on Amazon, and that's about what you're gonna pay for a lot of those gimmicky shovels. It depends on what you're looking for. If what you need is a quality folding shovel to stick in a backpack or a vehicle, especially with the weight of this, this is definitely something where you wanna look at versus uh, the 13 in ones. And there's plenty of other companies that make a good quality durable folding shovel. I just trust Glock's opinion reputation enough to know they wouldn't put something out like this if it wasn't going to be high quality and worth the money. So it also comes with this pouch, which the wrapper is very loud, so I'm going to cut that out of there without trying to talk over it. But this is the pouch that it comes with, which has a backpack strap or a belt strap if you want to hook it on your belt which is something I've not hooked on in my belt before, a folding shovel. But yeah, so we've got some options here. So if I fold this back down to its, yeah, smallest profile, and then stick it in like, yes. That fits in there quite nicely. And then yeah, you've got a couple options for however you'd like to carry that. 
horizontally that way through uh, small belts or through a belt vertically. Or again, backpack or just stick it in a backpack in the pouch. Either way, Glock E-Tool. Welcome to my life. And uh, just a handy thing to have in a vehicle. You never know when you might dig yourself out of a mess or uh, dig yourself into a foxhole, which hopefully that doesn't happen in this modern world in North America anytime soon, but good handy thing to add to your kit. So lots of cool knives and other interesting things on the table. I recently also picked up the Glock Field Knife, which if the review is not up yet when at the time of the Glock shovel being up, keep an eye out for this Glock Field Knife because I've been looking to pick this up since the very start of the channel when it was suggested to me by a subscriber. So uh, yeah, keep an eye out for the unboxing for this fella. And thanks for watching this and keep an eye out for an updated full review of the Glock shovel once I get a little bit of use with it. So thank you again for your viewership. This is the Hard On Gear channel signing off.